Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? Gabriel Santos here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you an alternative approach to creating discipline and freedom and self-control in your life without ever having to change what you wanna do with marijuana directly, okay? And so the context here is that I know a lot of you all you feel addicted or dependent to your marijuana usage. And many of you have been battling, you know, your addiction or your dependence for a while now with no solution, okay? And in my experience, it gets to a point where you, where I thought that, you know, marijuana was like the crutch and key to my ultimate success. And so I started to fixate and obsess and make marijuana like the main issue and it, the story was like, you know, once I have this marijuana thing solved, my whole life will be solved. Okay, but if, <clears throat> if you guys recall, I went 2019 weed free completely, and yet I still had a bunch of problems that simply not smoking didn't solve for me, right? Because it turns out that whether or not I smoke weed, I still have to deal with myself, right? So, okay, great, great. I don't, I don't, you know, and that's where the false idea is that, oh, marijuana is the one that'll make me be better, or, oh, not marijuana will make me better. And yes, I could see the correlation between it upgrading you to use it or it upgrading you to not use it. However, there's so many other things to address when it comes to one's ability to succeed or to make things happen in life, not just if we don't or don't smoke weed. Okay, so that is just one small factor, but there's other things to pay attention to, okay? <clears throat> and let's, so let's say, let's say you like you feel completely hopeless or you're just, you're tired of trying to fight marijuana, okay? My advice is to put all that aside, put all that aside. And here's the exercise. So whether or not you smoke marijuana, put that aside. What is one thing you can do, okay? 75% throughout the week, like, you know, almost once a day, right? Like five, five days of the week. What is something you can do five days of the week consistently that, that moves your life forward, okay? What is one thing that you could do five days of the week that will move your life forward? That might be going for a walk. That might be uh, eating a salad that might be going talking to a stranger that you find attractive or that you want to be friends with that might be you know uh, taking out the trash that might be you know finishing your homework before 5 p.m okay my whole point is is like look you can have the life that you want to have and still have marijuana in your life you just have to go and focus on doing that but this thing becomes like, oh, it's the weed, it's the weed, it's the weed now. <clears throat> you know, that might be a great solution for you, for some of you, right? Like, oh my God, I never thought about that. And the dope thing is, is that you'll still need to, to utilize discipline within yourself to go and do that thing. Okay, but then what might happen is, oh, wow, you didn't do the thing still. I wonder why. It's not because of weed. It's because you didn't go fucking do it. You know, it's like, when are you going to stop blaming marijuana for how you move your body? You know, and that, that's the thing about victim mentality. It's like, and I get it because it, it's kind of like this, you know, seesaw situation, victimhood, where it's like you feel like you're a victim and then you find the motivation to fight. But then like it fizzles out and then you're like, oh, I'm addicted again. And so... <clears throat> You know, I would say the one big jump for many of y'all to take if you're in a state of victimhood is, first of all, to stop being a little bitch. And second of all, to stop putting the sense of responsibility on marijuana. Like, it's, it's on you. Okay, and so then, if your life still isn't going the way you want it to, there's something on the inside that must be addressed. Something on the inside that must be addressed, okay? If things are not going well out in our lives, whether that's marijuana, whether that's school, whether that's girlfriend, boyfriend, whether that's whatever, money, it, it's not because of the outside world. <clears throat> I, do, I do understand and acknowledge that there are challenges, 
there are things that can seem like they prevent us from getting what they want. There, there's difficulty, there's things like that. But at the end of the day, if you and I are people that commit ourselves to being powerful, then we give up the right to be a victim to the world for too long. If we want to make things happen, we have to go make things happen. And if they're not happening, there's something on the inside. Okay, And this is normal. This is normal for, I am not beyond you know, normal human things. Like, you know, my life isn't a 10 out of 10 in all areas. And so I constantly have to work too. And there are other things that I play victim to. Like, oh, you know, one of the things I used to play victim to, and I still do every now and then, it's like, oh, I'm not tall enough for that girl, right? Or, or one of my old stories used to be like, oh, I'm not white, right? Things like that. Okay, so, so my whole point being that we all have these inner beliefs that hold us hostage and keep us limited. Now, going back to you with the marijuana, it's not the marijuana that has control of you guys, but I do get it. I do get it. If anything, what has control of you are these thought streams that say, I'm addicted, I need to go and smoke weed right now, or I'm hopeless, or I'm useless, or I'm a fuck up, or whatever. And then on the inside, probably even more controlling over you is this feeling of like anxiety, depression, hopelessness, despair, uh, 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 self-hate, rage. And not only that, you probably may or may not be like completely numb to those feelings, <clears throat> which makes a lot of sense, right? And the way that you numb out is to smoke weed because the weed makes you feel good. But then for some reason you can't get off the weed because you don't know how to solve your true issue, which is depression and anxiety. And so then you smoke the weed, smoke the weed uncontrollably, thinking that the weed's the issue when it's not. It's that feeling of anxiety and depression way deep down. <sighs> okay. And so consider that your issues with marijuana run way deeper than, the, than just you needing to be disciplined. Discipline is one great aspect of this. But consider, consider, and this not may, this may not be the truth for you, but just consider that there are a ton of emotional issues that are bundled up in your marijuana usage, and you're you're labeling it as like marijuana addiction when it's really more like there's an emotion within myself that is so painful and causes so much suffering, and I'm unwilling to face it because it's just too much. And so I'd rather just smoke weed and distract myself from it because it's just way too traumatic to go back to that emotion. And maybe that's a starting place for some of us to take. <clears throat> just to be like, oh, I'm unwilling to dive deep. And just to be honest about that. And that's okay. Like, honest to fucking God, y'all, that's okay. If you're going to be like, I'm not willing and I need to take some time. Okay, my hope is for you to gain some power over what you want to be doing with your life right now, as opposed to feeling misaligned. Look, if you just want to smoke weed, get a C average, and just fuck around and be with your homies, then do it and say it. It's okay to live the life you want to live, all right? But I get it. There's conflict because it's like, well, does that sound good, right? Who, who wants to admit they want to get a C average? Guys, I got a fucking C average in college. I looked through my transcript in college. It was like... B, C minus, C plus, F, A, F, F, B. Like, my whole point being like, look, I, I, I didn't, okay, I'll, I'll be out right. I didn't plan on getting those grades, but I was living the life I wanted to live. Meaning, let me smoke, or, let me smoke up, let me play video games, let me take it hella easy with school, let me make sure I pass, right? And I passed. <laughs> but I wasn't going to make it into like NASA's fucking honor program, if you will, okay? So... Anyway, so hopefully something in this video helped you out. I'm gonna cut it before 10 minutes because I feel like once you get past 10 minutes, it feels like it's a long ass video when it's really not. But anyways, y'all, I love you all. I appreciate you all. Hopefully this video was lit as fuck for you all. Appreciate you. Until next time, peace. Kobe forever.